Hello everyone and welcome back. Justin Siebert, the corporate mentor here. I was uh, talking to my wife the other day and she said, hey, now that you're doing all this um, stuff on social media, you know, you, know, you have uh, between your LinkedIn, YouTube channel, and uh, you know, Instagram growing, etc., for leadership, what is, you know, kind of what is the, what is your end goal or what is your target market as far as, uh, you know, trying to, trying to help people. And it really made me think about people that may not necessarily be a leader. Uh, my wife said that as well, but what if, what if there, there are certainly people out there in the corporate world that may not want to lead people or be a leader, right? So it's a good point and it's something I want to talk about today. I think early on in your career, when you are trying to figure out, you know, what you want to be when you grow up, right? What do you want to do in your career? There's really two paths to go down and you can kind of go back and forth and there's really not a, a right answer or a wrong answer for both, but it's, do you want to manage people, lead people, or do you not? Do you want to be an individual contributor? right? Some sort of a, you know, an analyst, a project manager, where you're not leading a, a team of people, but you may be responsible for a large program or project or work in, in finance or HR, uh, etc. So I think what I did early in my career is I sat down and strategized and said, okay, where do I see myself in, in five or 10 years, right? And whether that is you know, leading a, a, a very big uh, team or a business, a uh, vice president or a president or, or even a CEO, right? And then I mapped out, okay, what, what would it take for me to get there? And I started talking to people, meeting with people, and the first thing out of everyone's mouth said, you absolutely have to, get the experience of leading people early in your career. And by leading people, that means preferably direct labor employees on, say on the, on the shop floor setting and salaried employees, management employees. So if you have both, you're going to be in really good shape if you want to lead people when, uh, you know, later in your career. Okay. And you may, get into a position of say team leader, supervisor, manager, director, whatever it is, and realize this isn't something I want to do. And that's fine, but you may limit yourself uh, at a certain point, right? There's going to be a certain point in your career where if you don't want to lead people, you're likely not going to want to get the role that you want to get, right? So that's what, that's my point here is sit down, define what you want to do, right? And, and again, it could change. But where do you see yourself in five or 10 years? And you have to carve the path to get there, right? You need to understand within your organization what types of roles are required, what types of experiences are required to get that. And again, for a non-leader, if you want to be an individual contributor, that's more appealing to you. You don't want to deal with uh, leading people and managing vacation schedules, time and attendance, um, you know, just day-to-day -day writing reviews, annual merit reviews, all those disciplinary actions. If you don't want to do that, that's fine, but you need to figure out what you want to do, right? So if you don't want to do, that's problem number one, figure that out. Number two, once you understand what you want to do, figure out the, the steps it takes to get where you want to be. Okay. And, and again, individual contributor. I know a lot of people that are in those uh, types of positions in different industries, very successful, maybe uh, outside um, in, in your personal life. It's a little bit easier if you have kids or just other, um, you know, other priorities outside of work with your spouse, or it, it, it really just depends now. So, uh, you know, hopefully that helps in, in defining uh, what you want to do, sit down early in your career and, and, and have those short and long-term goals um, at different points in your career, right? Um, don't do it once a year, do it, do it once a week. Just have those short and long-term goals.
and you'll get to where you want to be faster. Okay. So if I continue to provide uh, valuable content, please uh, like, comment below, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, check out my Instagram at the Corporate Mentor. I provide content there uh, daily, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.